coming right towards me and a huge loud I knew with my injuries that I wasn't gonna be able to play. Having my career cut short by a drunk driver was the worst part of my life. I knew if there was you know, one firm to get me justice and to get me compensated for that, it was gonna be Morgan & Morgan. Morgan & Morgan has definitely really helped me in the toughest, darkest moments of my life. Those guys were there for me. I'm Chandler Parsons and I chose Morgan & Morgan. It's our biggest Black Friday event ever. During our biggest sale of the year, get a free adjustable base upgrade. While supplies last, save up to 70% on select clearance mattress sets. Own a queen size mattress for just $289. Visit any of our 60 locations today and get no interest financing for up to 60 months. We'll deliver, set up, and remove your old mattress for free. The Ortho Mattress Black Friday Sale. And it's only at Ortho Mattress. Ortho Mattress. The Timeless Gift. Two carat heart pendants, 49. Stackable bands, 199. Three stone rings, 199. One carat, 899. And one carat studs, 599. Thousands of gifts guaranteed to appraise for double. The Jewelry Exchange Tustin. This is NBC4 News at 5. Smashed windows in a pipe wrench found on the ground. Deputies shot a woman in Covina after neighbors say she was smashing car windows up and down the street. We want to thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. And I'm Carolyn Johnson. Kathy Vara is off. NBC4 Darsha Phillips is live in the neighborhood for us with more on what people saw. Darsha. Carolyn, Jonathan, about three to four cars were damaged in this rampage. You can see one of those cars just over here, and this car was not parked here. A man was actually driving it down Vincent Avenue when a woman ran up to him and smashed his windshield with that pipe wrench. You can see the damage there. Now, sheriff's deputies did shoot that woman. We are told she is now in the hospital in critical condition. Several car windows smashed after a woman with a metal object goes on a rampage near Vincent and Cypress Avenues in Covina. And this incident here was a pipe wrench. It was substantial in size. Uh, looks like it has some pretty good weight to it. She was going back and forth in the middle of the street. Haley saw the whole scene unfold around 10 this morning from inside her car. Trying to swing at cars as they were driving by. She hit a couple of them, but they just kept driving. Um, she tried to swing at this guy's vehicle and he almost hit her so he had to swerve into oncoming traffic. The car behind him almost hit him. She just kept coming back and forth down and she started hitting this fence on this property. Made it across the street. She hit that guy's car across the street. When sheriffs arrived, Haley pointed out the woman to one of the deputies. He saw her. She go and went right over to his car, smashed the back of his windshield. Um, he got out. She was coming around at him with the weapon and then he shot three times. I just saw her fall to the floor start screaming. Haley says she heard the deputy yell out commands to the woman before he fired his weapon. He was backing up as she was coming at him and was saying stop, stop, and then three shots. The woman, who deputies say is in her 20s, was taken to the hospital in critical condition but is expected to survive. People who woke up to the sound of gunshots are still shaken. We just heard some gunshots, so we went to opposite direction of the front door. Many wondering what motivated the woman to act out so violently. You can see Vincent Avenue behind me here at Cypress and Covina still shut down as investigators continue to process the scene. Now, no deputies or drivers were injured in this incident, and deputies still don't know why the woman acted out in such this way. Live in Covina, I'm Darsha Phillips, NBC4 News. Darsha, thank you. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department confirms the man wanted in connection to a Riverside triple homicide case was confronted and killed by deputies last night. Yesterday, firefighters found three bodies inside a burning Riverside home on Price Court. Deputies told us there's clear evidence the victims did not die from the fire. Around the same time the bodies were discovered, someone had already called police about a man and woman arguing outside the same home. The man became a main suspect in the case when deputies tried to confront him. We're told an exchange occurred that caused the deputy to shoot and kill the man. Let's head outside right now as we take a live look from beautiful Long Beach. You see the Queen Mary there as the sun is beginning to set. Let's check in with meteorologist Shauna Mendiola. She's in for Stephanie tonight. Hey, St uh, hey Shauna. Hey there. Good evening. Okay, everybody. Saturday. We finally got to Saturday. I know it's felt like Saturday for a while because it's been a holiday weekend, but our weather here has turned out to be really nice. A little windy on Thanksgiving. Yesterday, those winds died down, and now we're nice and calm with temperatures in the 60s out there. High temperatures this afternoon at 69 in Long Beach, so a slight